I'm Kimberly with the Fat Quarter Shop and today we've been working on this super cute sail away quilt block and right now I'm going to show you how to turn it into this adorable 12 inch pillow and the best thing about this is you can use this technique on any of your leftover 12 inch blocks. So let's get started. To make our pillow today you need a 12 and a half inch quilt block and a 15 and a half inch square of a fusible batting and a white fabric. You need two 14 by 16 inch rectangles of your backing fabric and two two and a half by width of fabric strips for your binding. We're going to start with quilting our pillow top. We're going to layer our white fabric, our fusible batting, and our quilt block. And I've given lots of room so that we can trim down later. And you're just going to iron the three layers together. Fusible batting has a light adhesive on both sides, so these will all stick together and you won't have to put in safety pins or pins and then you won't have to prick yourself at all when you're quilting. Fusible batting is great because you can see how this is just all sticking together. So nothing is gonna fall apart when you go to your machine. So now we're gonna take a basting stitch and baste an eighth of an inch around with a 4.5 stitch length and that's just gonna hold it in place. So we're going to be using a walking foot since we're sewing through three layers. Now we're ready to draw our quilting lines. We're going to be using a friction pin because the lines disappear once we iron later. So we're going to put our ruler from point to point. And when we're drawing our lines, this block has a pocket. We're not going to quilt on our pocket, so we're not going to draw a line there. And we're also not going to quilt over our rickrack. So I'm not going to draw lines on these two pockets. Or on the rig rack. Now I'm going to quilt approximately one inch apart. So I'm just going to move my ruler and put the line I just drew on my one inch mark and I'm gonna continue drawing to the corner. Now I'm gonna flip my block over and start again right on that center mark one inch away. So now we've drawn our lines and we're ready to start stitching. We're going to be using a 2.5 stitch length and a white thread and remember we're not going to sew over our pockets or our rick rack and we're going to start in the center line. First we're going to start outside on the batting and we're going to stitch until we get to the pocket. We're going to do a reinforcement stitch or a back stitch. Then we're going to start again with a reinforcement stitch or a back stitch and stitch and stop again. Then again we're going to start here go down and stop, start again, and go down. When we get into the batting, we are not gonna cut our thread. We're just gonna go back up and come back the other side, stop, and start. And then we're gonna go all the way in, and again, just continue without stopping, and go down this way. And you're gonna do that all the way on the entire pillow top. When you get to the end, you're going to cut your thread into your batting and then just start again on the other side of the center line.
now we've quilted our block, and since we used a friction pin, we're going to iron so that the pin will disappear. And now we're going to trim 3 8 inch away from our pillow top on all four sides. Now we're going to make our envelope back. Take both of your backing pieces and put them wrong sides together and then press. And then on your mat, we're going to overlap the backings. We're going to put the fold of both in the center. And then we're going to overlap them approximately three and a half inches. And you just, you know, you can just use your mat. It doesn't have to be perfect. Where they're overlapped, what you want to do is pin twice, just to hold them in place. And then we're going to fold our backing piece in half to find the center and put a marker in both of your centers on the top and the bottom. Then we'll set that aside, and from your pillow top, we're going to also find the center of the top and the bottom. And then we're just going to match our centers. and place the pillow top on the back. And then we're going to pin all the way around the pillow. And then we're going to baste right on the outside edge of the batting that's going to hold our pillow together. So now we've basted the pillow and you want to look at all your edges and make sure that everything looks perfect and that you don't have any puckers, especially in these joints right here. And you can see on this envelope back how nicely it looks because it's double sided, it's going to last longer, and it just really looks great. So now all we have to do is just trim right on the outside of the batting and then your pillow is ready for binding. There's only one last step in the pillow and that's to put your binding on. So make sure to watch our video on binding. Send me pictures of your completed pillow. I can't wait to see the different color options you have because I know this would be cute and pink also. See you next time.